lupus affects so much of us, it affects our body, our mind. It can be so debilitating. I get bald patches in my hair and I get quite bad discoid lupus on my face. And that can be quite embarrassing at times. Extreme tiredness. So a tiredness that you never stop being tired. Lupus is an inflammatory disorder that can involve nearly every organ in the body. And as a consequence, it can present in hundreds of different ways, often in an unpredictable and confusing pattern. It affects mainly young and middle-aged women and occurs, we believe, in around 20,000 patients in Australia. One of the chief culprits in causing these lesions in lupus are blood autoantibodies that are directed against DNA molecules, rogue clones as I term them. We don't normally see them in normal individuals, so they're very important biomarkers of disease activity and uh, organ damage in lupus. But now, with our new finding, we've advanced from just measuring a simple level of the antibody to breaking it down into its different clonal components. So by drilling down to the actual sequence of the antibodies and identifying the different clones, we can now use these to better diagnose and follow uh, treatment responses in our patients. Then it will be possible, we believe in the future, to better predict the flares and also in the long term develop specific treatments to remove the particular pathogenic or dangerous clones in these patients. The idea that there is a possibility of a way of helping us is huge because you feel so helpless when you have lupus and there's, it's like nothing really fixes it, you don't really feel that way sometimes.